Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. Welcome to the weekly workday vlog. It's Monday, I'm in the car. I'm just on my way to pick up Jamie. He's decided he wants to join the gym and get some muscles. <laughs> so yeah, one of I think one of his mates is like a personal trainer or something like that. So, which I'm actually happy about. Like I was always hoping he'd get into the gym and, and doing that sort of thing. I think it's good for young guys well young girls as well I think it's good for people to get into the gym I was always into it when I was younger not that you would know but yeah I was really a, a, a bit of a gym junkie and I mean I never liked it but I went all the time mainly because Michael was into it as well so yeah I was super fit and yeah I don't know what happened kids happened and then I just got out of the habit of doing it and got lazy and just enjoyed sitting on the couch eating more than I did going to the gym and sweating it out so yeah I'm pretty happy he's actually getting an interest in that um, so he's at the gym at the moment I'm just gonna go pick him up and I also just need to pick up a few things from Coles um, I'm looking for a few keto friendly foods as well as um, some cleaning products because you wouldn't believe it I'm actually pretty much down to my last cleaning products you remember my laundry cupboard was absolutely chock-a-block full I've nearly gone through all of that there's a few things I just need to stock up on I just wanted to see if Coles had a couple of keto foods mainly a sugar-free syrup that, that I can add to my iced coffee now I know I don't usually like to use sugar-free or artificial sugar type products but because um, I'm enjoying my iced coffee I just thought I would just try you know I'm only, I'm only going to put like a teaspoon or something in just to see if it would make the coffee a little bit more pleasant not that it's not that pleasant but I think a little bit of sweetener will definitely add to it so I'm just on my way to Loriton now and um, I will take you in the shop once I get there Well, that was a fail <laughs> I tried to vlog a little bit while I was in the shop but I just get so distracted when it's just me and I need to find stuff especially when I've got these glasses on these are my driving glasses and I definitely cannot read or see anything close up with them on so I'm just like constantly like moving my glasses oh, I didn't think I vlogged at all in the shop so let me just show you what I got now no judgment okay I told you at the beginning my cleaning supply cupboard is pretty much to a bare minimum so I needed these things I might not have needed as many of them but I definitely needed them so please no judgment okay I like my cleaning stuff anything to do with clean I really like and I tend to go a bit apeshit so let me show you what I got so I went to Coles and there was a few things I needed to go and then I thought well while I'm there I'll pick up a few other things so I really love the Coles home brand cleaners I just find that they're not only do they smell good which is a very high priority on my list when it comes to cleaning products but I think they do a pretty good job as well so I picked up the Coles Ultra glass and window cleaner I needed an, um, a new one of those for my cleaning caddy. I picked up four of the Ultra Multi-Purpose Cleaner in Sweet Orchid. This is my absolute favorite scent. I just, I don't like any of the lemony scents. To me, they smell like cat pee. I don't know why. Michael loves the lemon scents, but every time we've had a lemon scent and he's either used it or sprayed it, I'm like, the cat's pissed somewhere. Where's the cat pissed? I can smell it. She's weed somewhere. We gotta find it. 
and yeah come to realize he's just wiped the benches down <laughs> so um yeah there's just something about it to me i don't know like he can't he just doesn't think it smells at all like cat wee. he just thinks it's a nice fresh lemon smell but yeah no nah, i can't deal with it so that's the only one i use for kitchen and bathroom i also picked up two of these harpic flower fresh tropical blossom toilet cleaners they um even though they're not part of the coles ultra brand or ultra yeah ultra brand um they very much match the smell like they're very very similar so i like pairing them off together i also picked up a couple of the coles ultra concentrate dishwashing Hello. liquid oh she's here again such a pest so yeah i also picked up a couple of the coles ultra concentrate dishwashing liquid I bought one for my actual like dishwashing and the other one I'm actually going to make up a um, what they call a power wash I've seen it on YouTube or TikTok where they use the fairy dish soap detergent and make like a power wash spray multi-purpose cleaner with it I'll have to look it up. I'm not sure what goes in it, but I just know they make it out of just regular washing detergent, like a multi-purpose spray. So I've got one of those to use for that. And I'm thinking if it's if it works as good as they say it does on YouTube or TikTok, I can't remember where I've seen it. I'm going to try to see if I can use that in as my shower cleaner because I absolutely hate the smell of the shower cleaner we have at the moment. It's the Earth brand one. It is so freaking strong, like the fumes from it, and I mean, it's supposed to be environmentally safe, but the fumes from it just like, yeah, it's worse than Domestos and bleach. It's just too overwhelming. And it smells like cat wee as well because it's got that lemony fragrance. So yeah, I'm just getting Jessie to use the rest of that up on the cat litter box when she cleats that. And then I'm gonna try and make one of these power washers out of the um, dishwashing liquid. So when I do it, obviously I'll do it on camera, I'll show you what I'm doing. And yeah, you guys can give it a go if you want as well. So also picked up two of the Ultra Cream Cleanser. I, again, running out of mine down to my last two bottles. <laughs> so I needed two to, you know, in case of a cream cleanser emergency, I've got some backups. Picked up a couple of bottles of mineral water because we've got soda water at the moment, but I also don't mind mineral water. I just sometimes think with it saying it's mineral water that it provides some extra minerals that the soda water doesn't i don't know if it really does but i just picked up they're only a dollar each and i thought i would also try the coles brand no sugar cola just for those odd days if i just feel like something a bit more tasteful than soda water and apple cider vinegar you know if you're just you're having one of those nights where you just want something a bit fizzy obviously i'm not going to you know drink them as my regular everyday drink but just for those one-off occasions they're only a dollar so i thought i'd give them a go i got two of these ultimate choc chip cookies because you know they don't have that many carbs really like i mean what what have they got in them 10 carbs per biscuit so what i can have at least eight biscuits a day <laughs> No, kidding. Those are for Jamie. He's pretty much the only one that eats those. So every time I go to Coles, I always pick him up a couple of boxes because I'm nice like that. I also got a feta cheese. I tried the Danish one this time. I normally get the Greek one or the Australian one, but I thought, oh, just for something different, we'll try the Danish one because I'm going to make a big... We're making our meatballs again tonight. Um, and I'm just making a big salad to go with them for people that aren't having pasta, which is probably just me and Jesse. Jesse hates pasta. This is what I mainly went for. Actually, I've got two things here that I mainly went for. I wanted to get some sort of syrup or a little bit of a sweetener that I can add to my iced coffee in the mornings. And these are no sugar added, which I mean, Jesse's already told me don't get caught out because sometimes no sugar added doesn't mean no sugar so i've had to look and this one's not too bad let me try and get it to focus so in a hundred mil this has four grams of carbs 
which is not much like because what is the whole bottle only 200 so i could pretty much have half this whole bottle and it's only 400 four grams of carbs but obviously i've not bought it to drink the bottle i mainly just wanted it to just put like a teaspoon or something into my iced coffee just to give it a bit of sweetener so per 20 ml serve there is 0.8 of a gram of carbs which is not too bad don't know what the flavors like at the moment so i haven't tried it so i'll definitely let you know when i try that and again just again something to add to my coffee is sugar-free maple syrup um, this is a vanilla flavor and this one pretty much has zero carbs in it now it does have what's the sweetener that it uses sorbitol and I'm not 100% sure if sorbitol is the one that you shouldn't really be having when you're on keto. Or I know there's certain artificial sweeteners that are better for you and not so better for you. So I'm not really sure. But considering I'm only going to be having a minute amount in my iced coffee once a day, if that, even if I have it once a day, I don't think it's going to kill me. So, yeah, I'll give them a go. If they're crap, I won't buy them again. But if they're nice, we'll see. Um, I also picked up a thickened cream because I like to use that in my coffee instead of milk. And I picked up another of the Bega Smooth Peanut Butter. Now, this is my absolute favorite one. It used to be Kraft Peanut Butter, but they've changed it to Bega. This one does have a little bit more carbs than the last one I got but I just prefer this flavor so much more. I've just, yeah, the other one was all right, but there's just something about that one that's just so yummy, probably because it's got sugar in it. <laughs> and then last but not least, I picked up these two things. So I've got a bicarb, a box of bicarb soda and a um, bottle of anti-dandruff shampoo. So as you can see, my hair is getting out of control. Uh, because I'm trying to grow it now so it's it's at that horrid stage where it's too long to flick out properly and it's just yeah it's gonna look shit for a few I think a few months until it does its thing so I'm thinking um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not yet but I'm thinking of stripping my hair of all the buildup of hair color and I've been watching a few YouTube videos on how to do that rather than getting one of those box hair strippers. Apparently, if you use anti-dandruff shampoo and some bicarb soda, that will help to strip all the color out of your hair. So I'm thinking of doing that. I'm not 100% sure at this stage. Um, I'm probably going to do it before I diet again, but my whole aim is to, I think I'm going to start getting it dyed at the hairdressers, like just getting it done properly at the hairdressers, especially now if I am growing it longer, I want it to start looking a little bit healthier. So um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of just stripping all the color out and maybe just getting a proper hair color put on at the hairdressers and then just getting the roots touched up. I might just have to put it in my budget, maybe stop buying so many cleaning products and spend that money um, every you know six weeks or so and get my hair done properly because it's so thin at the top. Every time I'm doing a video, I can see my bald patch all the time. I'm like, ah, and I know have, using box dye is, is not the best for your hair. Uh, I mean, my hair feels super soft today, actually. Like, it feels really soft, but I know just the build-up of colour is not... It doesn't look that great. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it anytime soon yet, but I've got it there for when I do decide to do it. So, there's that. So, I'm just going to quickly put all this away, and I'm going to start making dinner because we're going to have meat, those meatballs again. I'm not going to show you making them again because I only just did it in the vlog not long ago. But Michael's been craving pasta again. So I said, well, I, you know, I may as well make the meatballs and then at least I can have those with a salad. So it's weigh-in time. I've been on keto for a month now and this is my monthly weigh-in. So when I started on the 1st of February, I was 121.7 kilos 
And I just weigh myself throughout the month, but it's really the month by month weight that I'm concerning myself with to make sure it's going down. So I started on 121.7 and now um, on the 1st of March, I am 116.6. So what's that? Just five, just over five kilos in a month, which I'm pretty happy about. So as long as that month by month um, number is going in the downward direction, I'm happy. I'm not too concerned if it's going up or down throughout the month. But yeah, so it's definitely working um, and I've just got to keep it up now just to get myself where I want to be. It's good to have huskies and horses because they always alert you to something weird going on. So it's very unusual for chaos to be sat down here looking so intently into Rolly's paddock and even Rolly's looking off what what is it oh, I think there might be a rogue cow by the sounds of it one of the cows probably escaped what is it what have you spotted is there a random cow in the paddock I can hear it hello hello lovely you have been not been enjoying this rain, have you? Is your fence on? No. You haven't been enjoying this rain. Where's the cow gone? Where is he? Where's the cow? I can't see it. Oh, there he is. Do you see him? Looks like he might have lost his herd. That's as close as I can get. Poor little guy. Or little girl. It'll be a little girl. See, both of these keep us alert that there's something going on that's very unusual. <laughs> You're going to go over and say hello, Rolly. You're good boys. Yeah, you're good boys. Oh, you're a bit late to the party, mister. It's already sorted. We know, it's just a cow. Chaos was already onto the scent way before you even bothered to show up. I'm going inside. It's raining again. Poor, miserable Rolly. Jesse will be out to feed you in a bit, little guy. Don't slip. Very slippery, isn't it? Both water tanks absolutely overflowing, flooding. <laughs> wow, it's just not stopped raining. So far, well, as of yesterday, the roads are still good out here. Um, we're not flooded in completely, even though this looks like it. But yeah, wow. We are getting flooding rains again like we did last year. As of yesterday the roads are still fairly clear because it's very intermittent like it'll throw it down for a while and then stop for a little while so the brakes are giving the water a chance to you know seep in where we are the water seeps in really really quickly so we're lucky like that. I mean our house is not really um, in any sort of flood danger so to speak like we're right like we're really quite up high so um, yeah nothing's really flooding where we are but um, it's mainly our access roads out of here that um, do flood when the creeks and the rivers and everything around rise up because we've only really got one access road out of here and yeah, once that floods over, then we're pretty much trapped and stranded. So, as of yesterday, it was fine. Um, and if it sort of keeps raining the way it has been, like on and off, on and off, intermittently, we'll be fine. But, yeah, poor Rolly. <laughs> He's not, not loving it. You're not loving it that much either, are you, guy? Little guy. 
Oh, you're wet through. You're wet through. Yeah, it's not fun when it's raining. So yeah, all our grass is just getting out of control again. We're not even going to discuss the pumpkin patch. I don't even know what it's doing. I haven't even looked at it for like weeks now, but whatever's going on out there <laughs> can stay out there. Started to clean my bedroom this morning, but I can only get so much done while Michael's still sleeping in the bed. So <laughs> I've kind of just cleaned the bathroom-ish. But I'm in the mood to do a little bit of decluttering and organizing in my bedroom. So along the lines of my little pocket progress, maybe just go through some of the decor in my bedroom and see if any of that needs to be decluttered or sorted or whatever the case is. I think I'm going to just clear everything off my uh, side table like just get rid of the stack of books that I'm not reading like this book I'm going to start reading because I want to actually finish the series and then get rid of the books they're not really a book that I'll, I want to keep so I read this one ages and ages ago and I just can't remember it before starting the next one in the series so I want to start all over again read this one get up to date, read the rest of the series and then get those books out of my house. And yeah, those other stack of books, they're just for display. And I just think, why? Why am I having stuff there just for display with no real purpose? So I think I'm just going to clear everything off my side table, probably just have the candle burner and the book that I'm reading and everything else can go. So while we're on the side table, I thought I'd just go through the drawers and declutter stuff that I don't no longer want or need. Now, I had a lot of contact lenses here that have just expired and gone out of date. So I'm just going to throw them out. I'm going to keep like a handful of them just as an emergency if I have anything go wrong with my eye again like I had last time I ripped the cornea off my eye so uh, a contact lens is actually a good patch to put over that while it's healing so I just kept a handful of them just in case I've got one basket full of all my eye stuff and then the other basket here is just all little items that I use in my nighttime routine so if you want to see like a nighttime routine like what I do at night before I go to bed um, I can do that in a separate video, but yeah, these are all the items that I kind of just use just before I go to bed. And that soap at the back, I just leave that in there until I'm ready to use it because it just helps the drawers um, smell nice. So yeah, I'll often store a bar of soap in each of the drawers because this is like a, a vintage piece and it's got that bit of an old musty smell to it as well, like when you open the drawers. So yeah, <laughs> the little soap in there just helps keeping it smelling a bit fresher. So this next drawer, I just have my Invisalign retainers, which I need to keep, um, and just a notebook and pen if I need to write anything down. And this box of jewelry came from my mother-in-law, so I've just got to sort it out and pick out the stuff that's real and the stuff that's not, and then um, pass on the stuff that is real to Jessie, because um, that was a request from her or me that she has her jewelry. Um, and then just get rid of the rest. So yeah, that doesn't need to stay in there. And then um, I'm just moving my candle and wax like wax melts up into this second drawer. And then this third drawer, I'm actually going to put all my nail polish. So as you can see, that bottom drawer is really hard to get open. So I'm just getting all of my nail polishes out and I'm going to move them up into the third drawer and just have this bottom drawer empty. And before I put all my nail polishes back, I'm just going to go through and declutter those as well. So any colours that I know I'm not liking or I'm not going to wear, I'm just getting rid of them. So we're down to three drawers and yeah, got a, quite a bit that I was able to get rid of. So here's everything I've managed to declutter from those drawers. I'm getting rid of all of my contact lenses and that lot of nail polishes at the back there. I'm just not going to wear those two items I'm putting somewhere else. But the rest is just getting tossed. So 
it's all leaving my house and creating more room in my drawers so here are my drawers now all nice and sorted we've got my eye care in one big basket and some nighttime routine products in the other we've got my notebook my book that I'm reading and my wax melts and candles for my wax warmer in there as well and at the back there is just the remote for the bed which we don't really use and now in the third drawer that's just all the nail polishes that I'm keeping so far and all my nail care and the, the last drawer now is completely empty just because it's a pain in the ass to try and get open every time so yeah that's one little pocket of my house done so I thought I'm still in the mood for a bit of cleaning so I thought I would go through all my makeup as well and just get rid of stuff that I'm just not reaching for and I know I'm not going to use. So I'm just going to go through this really quickly because you saw me clean my vanity the other day. So yeah I'm just actually now going through the products and making sure that what I have got is stuff that I'm still currently using. So, so far those eyeliners are just not working for me, so I'm getting rid of those. I've got my foundations and some powder here. They're all still good. I'm just working my way through all of those products. So this is all my face products in here where I've got extra foundations and face powders, blushes and concealers. So pretty much all of these, I'm not really decluttering too much because I do use them at different times. Uh, and I have decluttered my makeup so so much like you've got no idea guys the the makeup that I used to have this is just a fraction and eventually I do want to get it down to just those key products that I always use uh, in saying that though my lip products are my biggest downfall <laughs> I just love them but I did manage to also declutter a lot of these as well so what I've got left here uh, I know the colors that I do use, that I do reach for, and that I absolutely love. And you can see I'm pretty much a pinky nude kind of girl on my lips. I don't go anything too crazy. And this is all the products that I'm actually getting rid of, which is a lot of lipsticks this time, believe it or not, because they're just not the color that I'm reaching for anymore. So yeah, again, another lot of decluttering from my vanity table. The mirror, definitely I'm keeping. Uh, I've just been using that to put some lipstick on and try them out. But yeah, they're all the products that I'm just going to chuck out now. So I'm still in the mood for a bit more pocket cleaning and we are now in my wardrobe in the drawers where I keep my enormous stash of shower products. So this is kind of like my dirty little secret and I'm not even ashamed of it. These drawers make me so happy. So this is where I just keep all my backups of everything. So in this top one it's mainly like oral care, all the teeth stuff, face care uh, and yeah that's pretty much it. So this second drawer is all the moisturizers, talcs and deodorants. I know. And then this bottom drawer is all the shower gels and soaps. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Like I'm, I'm working my way through it and I'm trying not to buy a lot more products. Even if I see them on special, I'm trying to hold myself out. Uh, so I, you know, the collection has been getting smaller in some respects, <laughs> other respects, probably not, but yeah, I am trying guys, but it, this does make me happy. I do love my shower products and cleaning products and I just like having backups of them. Uh, this is my feminine hygiene drawer and yeah, you can see it's not as full as it normally is. You know, I've just been saying, look, I've still got plenty. I'm not going to run out. So, yeah, I don't need to buy heaps, but I still have a healthy stash. <laughs> and this is my hair tools drawer. So in here is just all my hair tools, which is surprising that I have so many since I've got no idea how to style my hair. But I just figured having all these tools might help me. 
Uh, it hasn't so far because I don't really know how to use a lot of these tools. But um, yeah, I, I don't even think I've used that curling wand at all. I do use my hair dryer and I have just bought a new straightener because Jamie stole mine. And I do use my straightener to give myself the little flicks um, at the end of my hair. So I'm just cutting off the label that specifically says do not remove this label. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, once my hair is actually longer, uh, I think I'm going to really try and look at some YouTube tutorials on how to use these tools and, and, you know, get some ideas on how to style my hair. Now this drawer is all my hair care products and yes, I'm addicted to flex and I'm addicted to the LV dream lengths. I can't say any more than that. <laughs> That's just me. Okay, so just while I was sorting out my wardrobe uh, drawers, I just thought I would quickly have a look through my wardrobe and see if there's anything I can get rid of in here. So we're getting rid of this pile of clothes here that no longer suits me or they've got stains or holes or just, yeah, looks a bit crap. Well... I'm buggered for today, so I'm going to leave it at that for today. The little pocket progress turned into pretty much a whole room declutter, but oh, why do I look so blue? What's going on? For the most part, my room was pretty much already organized and decluttered, but you know, I've still got a whole table full of stuff here that is now leaving my bedroom. Some of it just needs to find a new home, but and those little mats just need a wash, but yeah, all of that makeup and all that is going. So yeah, we're getting somewhere. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another pocket progress and see what else we can get up to and clean. Cause the whole house is looking a bit of a mess while I've been neglecting it to clean my bedroom. All right, so here's the room all finished now. I'm really, really enjoying this more minimal look and Every time I do my room, I take more stuff away. And I don't know, for me, it's a lot more calming. Like as much as I love the country cottage cluttered look with just stuff everywhere, absolutely love looking at that. But I just don't think it's like, I can't live like that. I just get start to get antsy. So yeah, I've cleared all of our stuff off the bedsides now. So I've just got an, um, wax warmer there just for some fragrance we've got a bit of decoration up on my little mantel shelf there i took all michael's decorations away and yeah i mean i know it looks more sparse but i just yeah for me it's a lot more calming a lot easier to clean too um my vanity's now pretty decluttered and cleared I've um, I put a little uh, oil lamp on here to go with that bird. I just wasn't happy with what I had there. Uh, and I just like that look now. There's just a little bit of decor, but just not too much. And then, yeah, in the bathroom, I've taken a lot of stuff away. Yeah, I've just got some bath oil in that little jug now, which I'm happy with. And then nothing else around the bath apart from the bath tray and then just what we need on the sink. So we've got floss, ear, buds, and cotton balls. Um, just a little decoration there. I have my 4711 four sitting there. Just got my toothbrush sitting in the sink at the moment and soap dispenser. And then my side's pretty clear. And then, yeah, showers, nothing changed. Toilet's fine. And then inside my wardrobe, I've really decluttered a fair bit. I hope it's not too dark. But I've um, I've put all my Italian shower stuff on this shelf here now. So I've cleared a lot of stuff out here. Those are my usable yoga pants, like the ones that I rotate through and wear each day. Then I'm here. I've got a couple of pairs of jeans and some track pants. And then all of those are brand new yoga pants still with the tags on. So as they start to get old and tatty, I will then just um, grab a new pair down. And then, yeah, even my clothes, I've really decluttered quite a bit. So I've basically just got that and that as far as my tops go. 
um, I'm pretty much just a t-shirt kind of gal. <laughs> I don't really wear anything fancy, just mainly t-shirts. And then on this side, I've just got some jumpers and jackets. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the wardrobe is all Michael. So he's got all of his jackets and jumpers there. And then he's got a couple of sections of shirts, pajamas and different tops there. Got our laundry baskets there. And then, yeah, I already showed you inside all the cupboards. So they're all nice and organized. I mean, I know I still got a lot of products, but that's my one. That's my one vice as far as collecting stuff. I just love shower stuff. And then I've just got my shoes under there. So I've got my going out shoes. Literally $6 came up here. I've got my Ugg boots for winter. Um, I've got a black pair of sneakers. They're what I used to wear for work. Um, I've just got my shopping sneakers. And then I've got my going out thongs. <laughs> Everyone needs a pair of going out thongs. Um, they're just ones I don't wear in the garden. So I try and keep them a little bit cleaner if I need to wear thongs when I go out. So yeah, that's all the bedroom done. I even decluttered a bit of our uh, linen cupboard as well. I just got rid of some of the blankets that were in there. So we're pretty much down to what we use. And yeah, that's the whole bedroom done. Done for another couple of months. I don't think there's much more I can declutter out of here. But um, yeah, let's see in a couple of months, maybe there will be more. <laughs> We've got some happy mail. I've actually got quite a few. I ordered a heap of stuff off AliExpress maybe the end of January. A lot of like journal supplies and stationary things and just recently a few little beauty things as well. Well, the January ones are all now starting to trickle through and finally arrive in Australia. So let's see, what have we got here? What's this one? Ah, wow, okay. Didn't expect this to come so quick. So this first item that I picked up is a weekend uh, travel bag. I just saw it, it's just real vintagey looking and I thought, oh, I love it. Love the look of it. Probably not for everyone, but I liked it. So it's just a, a big, kind of like a canvas, vintage style overnight bag for all the traveling that I do. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't really have one. So like if we ever went away somewhere overnight or for a weekend away, I don't actually have a bag to put anything in. We don't own suitcases. The kids have got two little overnight bags that they used to use for school camps. But yeah, I just don't have anything to put stuff in. So I just, I saw this online. It sort of come up in my newsfeed and I just love the look of it. I just love that sort of vintagey satchel kind of style. Just a big canvas bag from AliExpress. So that's my first purchase. What else have I got here? Ah, this one I was hoping would come pretty soon. So the next thing I got, these are all just random things. They're not even my journal stuff. But the next thing I got was this bought it for like all my vitamins and pills. So it's like a one month. I mean, you can use it for craft as well, but I wanted it so that I could set up all my vitamins. Hopefully they'll all fit in there. I'm pretty sure they should. And yeah, I don't have to think about getting my vitamins set up for the whole month then. So I thought that's nice and compact. And like I said, you could use that for different crafts as well or got medications. You could even do it like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could even do it for a week. So like if you have to take different medications at different times of the day, you've got like uh, seven days going across. So this could be like your Monday, your Monday box, and then you can set up that. Well, that was only a couple of dollars. Oh, the bag I think was $40, maybe 45. This was, I think, three dollars something like that okay so these are like little miniature bottles that i purchased because i am hopefully if i get to it going to be doing a little um i'm going to be doing like a little halloween diy with these and making like a miniature apothecary set so that's a bit hard to see them they come with like tiny corks so I got a couple in that style. I got a couple of cloches, which are super cute. 
How cute is that? <laughs> oh, there's some tiny, tiny bottles. So I'll just hold them up because they're probably too small to even come out of the packet. So they're like really tiny, tiny little bottles. So these ones just look like that. It's got like a metal bottom, a glass cylinder, and then a top as well. So again, just for some craft projects that I've got in mind for some future videos. Hopefully I will get to them and actually get to do them. But yeah, so those are just some crafty items. These are some journal stickers. So we've got this pack and I'll show you when I, I'll open them up and you can see that pack and that one and inside they like got some different style of pages inside that you can use when you're doing your journaling they look quite good just have a quick flick through so you can just use the pictures or the words as like little backgrounds and stuff like that. Okay, so this again is another packet for my journaling. So these are all actual stickers as well. And then like you can use those in your journaling. I like these pictures actually, they're quite nice. What is this? That's my overnight bag that I bought. You like it? It's pretty cool, huh? It is pretty cool. I like so that style. No, I don't have an overnight bag. Oh, well, the, the Rivers one, yeah, I bought that before the Rivers one, so now I've got two. Even though you literally go nowhere ever. I know, but still, if I ever do, now I've got the bag. The other thing I picked up was these fancy little scissors. I think they're actually like embroidery scissors, but I just think they'd be really pretty to use while journaling as well. Love the look of those. Shut up, Jesse. No one needs your sniveling in the background. What the actual fuck are you saying? <laughs> that's, that's my life. That's the person I am. You don't know. Just because I haven't done it yet doesn't mean I'm not that person. Oh, okay. I'm an Olympic champion. You are not. Just because I haven't done it yet doesn't mean I'm not that person. You're not, though. I will be a journal person. You watch one day. I've got all the supplies now, so now I can do it. So the other thing I picked up was this big bag of images. Like they're actually like of people. Obviously, again, you can use it in your journaling. So I'll just, I'll just flick through them quickly. But yeah. The other thing I picked up was this. So this is the little vintage box that it comes in. Proper Vin wooden box. Vintage because, looking! Vintage looking! Just because it's wood doesn't mean it's vintage. And then this is like a vintage it's factory made. vintage factory looking made. vintage looking stamp set. How cute are they? That I think was about $12 for the box. So you've got your capitals and your lowercase. Love that. Couple more journal things. We got a little what is this? Dictionary library series. So this is a tiny mini book, but inside it's got like miniature little quotes from all different words. This is all A to B by the looks of it. So again, it's just something you can use in your journaling, um, just as background and stuff like that. But yeah, each page has got a different word on it which I like, so that one. And we got two of these massive sticker pads. All right, so the first pad, and this is just filled to the top of all different stickers. These were not that cheap. I think they, these might've been about $10 for a book, but wow, you get like heaps, like every page is different. You've got color themed pages. Yeah, so there's a lot in there. And then same with this one. This is the other book. So this one's, I think, a more neutral theme.
Yeah, and we'll go through it pretty quickly, but yeah, you can see there's just heaps and heaps of stickers in there. It's going to be awesome. So that's those two. Ah, awesome. I forgot about this one too. So this is an actual, like a makeup bag or, I mean, when I originally bought it, I had in mind to use it for some journaling supplies, but then when I saw the overnight bag, I thought, oh my God, I think I might use it with my overnight bag. Now I know it's a bit masculine and a bit grungy looking, but I actually, that's what I love about it. So this is huge. Actually now I probably, I think I'll actually use this for my journaling to put some journal supplies in. So yeah, it's like, um, like a vintage style. It is a, like classed as a man's pouch, I guess. But yeah, I, like I said, I originally bought this with the idea to use it for some journaling supplies, like just to put some stuff in it and carry it around. So I love that. I don't know if I will end up using that as a makeup bag or um, or just for my journals. I don't know, it's just so cool. I just love it. Oh. So yeah, um, this one I think was, oh, it might've been about $19. I know it seems a lot, but it's actually like, like it's pretty well made. Like it's got a frame in it, it's canvas, it's vintage style. It's yeah, I just love that. I love that style, I don't know. I've always liked that sort of style as, as a kid. I always wanted like a, um, you know, like the old school teacher leather satchels that the teachers used to have. Um, I've always wanted one of those as well as a kid. So yeah, got that anyway. All right, so next package, we have a heap of these different stickers and things like themed stickers for your journals. I don't know if you can see, I'm pretty sure on the back there is showing you all the different kinds. 50 sheets all up. So if there's four and three, 12, yeah, you probably get like a couple of each one. So that's those two. Then we've got that, those two styles. Then we have these two. And then also little quotes that are already kind of typed out on some paper and you can just use those to stick in your journals as well. So there's different ones here. We've got like Daily Moment, we've got Masterpiece Extract, Movie Trip, Travelling Poet, and Life Quotation. So this is actually to go with my Traveller's Notebook because this one is actual real leather. You can see there it's proper leather and that's the colour to match my Traveller's Notebook as well. So yeah, again, it's just a pencil pouch or pen pouch um, so that I can put my pens in and then carry that with my Traveller's Notebook, which is pretty much the exact same colour as that. And last but not least, we have a bag organiser or what I like to actually, I've had these before and what I like to use these for is not really to put in a handbag, but just to organize my uh, journaling supplies. But these you can actually slip into your handbag and then it's got so many pockets and, and different like areas you can store stuff. It'll help to keep your handbag organized. So this is just a purple one and yeah, it's got like little handles. You can fit heaps in there. We've got zippers, zipper compartments here, zipper compartments there. Lots of little pockets all here that you can just put different little things in. So like stuff like this, you know, if you take them out of the box, you can just, um, you know, store them in there, whatever. Um, you've got your scissors. Obviously you wouldn't have them all in their cards, but yeah, you can like slip your scissors in. You've got all these things. You can just like store them in there, whatever, you know. So it's just a little caddy that you can carry all your journaling supplies in. So that is it for my bit of a haul this time. There's quite a bit of stuff has come through. There's still quite a lot more still to come. I did go a bit feral 
but yeah, I'm excited to get it. This weekend, I'm still doing quite a lot of decluttering, quite a lot of cleaning. I'm a little bit behind with my cleaning this week because we've had to go out and pick the Hummer up. We finally got the Hummer back. That's all fixed now. Put it, they put a new pump in the gearbox. So hopefully that will all be working again. This weekend vlog will probably involve a fair bit of cleaning and tidying. I've also pulled out all of my picture frames that I've been collecting, um, you know, from thrift stores and stuff like that. Cause I now am gonna start making over those picture frames and selling them on. The ones that aren't worth it, I'm just gonna donate to the charity store. But yeah, I wanna start giving some of these picture frames a bit of a makeover so I can start selling them as well. So that's more stuff leaving my house. So I'm excited, I'm getting rid of stuff. Tonight for dinner, we're just gonna be having a roast chicken. I'm just gonna throw that in the oven now and we'll probably just have that with a very simple salad because we don't have much salad left. We've just basically got lettuce and tomato and a bit of onion. That's probably all we're having for dinner tonight. Something quick and easy and simple. Um, so I'm just gonna clean all this rubbish away now, put all of my journaling supplies away and start dinner. And before I go on, I just want to let you all know, because a few people have been messaging me um, just in regards to the floods in New South Wales. Thankfully, our area is all right this time. It seems to have hit north of us so so bad like oh my god i'm just devastated for the people like they they it's literally like 10 meters underwater it's just crazy like it's absolutely crazy so if any of you guys that are watching um are in those areas please know we are all thinking about you hoping you guys are staying safe um, and yeah, like I said, it's not hit uh, the mid north coast really. I mean, we've had a lot of rain um, We've had a little bit of flooding on the sides of the roads, but not even to the extent that it was last year So I think we've been really really lucky So it sort of hit north of us kind of skipped over us and then now is hitting like Newcastle Which is about two hours south from where we are so it's kind of hitting Newcastle and Sydney areas. So for any of you guys out there that are in any of those areas, please stay safe. Don't take the risk. Just get out if you need to get out. And please know we are all thinking about you. And yeah, it's just, oh, it's just so tragic. Like I was watching the news yesterday and up in Lismore, which is north near, near the border of Queensland and New South Wales, um, it was showing like their local shopping center, like Kmart and all of that sort of thing. And it was up to the top of the building, like not even just a meter high. It was literally the whole building was engulfed in water. Like you could just see probably about that much of the building poking out from the top of the water. It's just insane. Like I just, yeah, it's, it's really, really, I was nearly in tears watching it when they were interviewing some of the people, poor buggers. So, um, yeah, but just know we're all good this time. All fine. Thank you for your messages of concern, but yeah, just please keep thinking about these people and sending them positive vibes up there because not only are they like, you know, they've lost everything, but even you know, all the people that are in the evacuation centers because their whole town is cut off. They're running out of food, they're running out of supplies and all of that sort of thing. So, oh, it's just terrible, terrible situation. 